How to overcome my own low vibrations and use them for my benefit? This question contains five more. In order not to retell the whole lecture on adequate energy exchange, I simply refer you to this lecture, as well as to the book, the key to understanding yourself, where these questions are covered very extensively and, as I hope, in detail. Now I'm just going to say a few things about the subject. There are different people. We are all different. There are those whose consciousness, and the astral body in particular, feeds off of high vibrations, that is, positive emotions. And there are those whose consciousness feeds off of negative emotions. Moreover, there are people who not only feed off of positive emotions, but also produce and send them out into the outside world. There are those, the opposite kind of people, who produce negative emotions and send them out into the world around them. That's neither good nor bad. That is how it is. These are merely features of the consciousness. Everything should be balanced in this world. And to correctly answer the question how to use low vibrations for your own benefit and how to overcome them, first of all, you have to ask yourself, why do I need to overcome them? Do they harm you? Do they bother you? Does somebody make you feel ashamed of them or tell you that you are wrong in this regard? If so, then assume the mentality that whoever told you this, he spoke of himself, not you. He says that you make him feel bad because you produce low vibrations. But does it make you feel bad? Ask yourself this question. If that's your nature, and that's how nature made you, then it must have been for some reason that nature made you this way. And if you understand that not the system, but nature makes you see only the negative and everything, only the negative and nothing but negative, and you can't look at the world around you any other way, because if it's all positive, there's nothing for you to do here, then you are like this. And if someone feels uncomfortable around you, well, maybe you don't have to feel guilty about that. You're just not connecting with that person energetically. In fact, that's the whole thing. Change the style of your relationship or even the fact of partnership. You need to embrace this quality in yourself because if such people are created by nature, then, I repeat, such people are needed. Needed to keep the balance of very light and very dark. You will be able to use them for your benefit only when you understand what you can do with these vibrations. It's not them that are killing you, but the people around you who don't allow you to use these vibrations and see the possibilities of using them. In the book, The Key to Understanding Yourself, I describe such examples, ways to use them, and what people who generate negative emotions can do in this world. They generate them, and nothing can be done about it. Yes, it's very difficult to deal with such people, but in the same surrounding world there are those who do not consume any other emotions than negative ones and cannot produce them themselves, desperately looking for people who will give them these emotions. You just need to connect with such a person and you will fit together much like a lock and key.